So I'm not sure what to expect. heading up to Cold Hank which is situated just off the Rhinos Pass which then heads on to Highmark Pass. It's probably the most frightening road you're likely to come across. Weather wise it's cloudy, quite overcast but there's some detail in the sky so photography wise I'm really not sure. What I have done though is restricted myself to my telephoto lens. No wide angle lens in this session. I parked at Rhinos Pass and it's like uh, the fun fairs it down. I mean the late district at summertime is horrendous with regards to parking. But I have managed to do that. So the walk is about what a mile, mile and a half or so. So I'm gonna see what I can find. take you up to a, a fell and take some shots without deviating slightly oh no I'm currently at Red Tarn now there's two Red Tarns in Lake District there's one at El Velin which I've been and there's this one and the beauty about this one is that it's got some wonderful background my favourite mountain in the whole of the Lake District is Bow Fell and that's what I'm looking at now with its distinctive ridges full of character and I've also got the crinkled crags uh, leading up to it. Now the weather is it's quite cloudy but it's, it's sunny as well, sunny intervals, it's about 3 o'clock in the afternoon so not exactly golden hour so what do you do? Well, you make amends, don't you? Or you adapt to your environment. So what I've done here, telephoto, because that's all I've brought, I'm going to do a long exposure. I'm just going to smooth out the water, portrait orientation, F11, 15 seconds, and I've focused on the mountain in the background, which, as I say, is Bo Fell. out red town the sun is beating down and that is my destination cold pike so I'm gonna try and tackle this boggy ground and see what else I can find I'm at the top of Cold Pike and I'm not going to stay here long because it's absolutely blowing a hoolie so I might have problems uh, talking to you so I'm going to be quick. Now and then there's a scene which presents itself to you which doesn't need a lot of work and that's exactly what's happened. What's in front of me is Bowfell and the Crinkled Crags and you've got a path leading up. The contrast and the light has just worked absolutely perfect telephoto f11 focused on the background fells magic
beautiful place this is. I've had a look around however, but I can't quite put my finger on a, a, a good composition. I thought I had something, but it didn't quite work out. I have spotted a little tarn heading back down where I need to be. So I'm gonna head down there now. Uh, plus I had to get down from the top of the fell because the wind was just atrocious. So yeah, there we are behind me. A little, little tarn just interests me. And what interests me, pulled me towards it was the little, I don't know, islands just create some interest. I walked all around it trying to get the best composition. Um, I've been looking at the best foreground where the light is and I think I've come up with the best option so far. What I'm going to do, I'm going to stick on a 10 stop neutral density to really smooth out the water and the sky. Remember, I'm restricted to a telephoto, so it's quite hard. This shot could run with a wide angle if I'm honest, but I haven't brought it, so there you go. Um, now, I have experimented with various exposure times as well, done a 15, 30, and 60 second exposure. I'm not quite sure which is best yet. What a trip, I really enjoyed it. Didn't really know what to expect, but got my photography skills tested and hopefully I've come away with something decent. It's all about creativity at the end of the day. So I hope you've enjoyed it. We're gonna head back down now to the car and uh, drive home. So, take good care of yourself. Be happy, see you shortly, bye bye.